so for number seven, we need to find the period of a function. And this one's going to look a little bit strange at first because we have both sines and cosines multiplied together in this function. So what we're starting out with is 4 sine 2x cosine 2x. Now in order to answer this question, what's the period of it, we need to transform this to just having a uh, sine or cosine. So there's one, and you might recognize by what this looks like, this is really close to one of our trig identities, a double angle formula that you need to have memorized. So one of your double angle formulas says that when you have sine of 2 theta, that's equal to 2 sine theta cosine theta. So you can see here, this does match this. Uh, we just have a 4 instead of a 2, so we have an extra 2 in front. And 2 sine of 2x cosine of 2x then is following that formula where 2x is our theta. So that means that this whole part here, let me put this in brackets, this whole part there in brackets is actually equal to sine of double whatever these angles are. So since our theta is 2x, then sine of 2 theta would be sine of 4x. <clears throat> so just using the double angle formula, we've simplified this down now just to one trig function, and now this should look pretty familiar. So remember that if you want to find the period of a trig function, you have to start with the base period. For sine and cosine, that base period is 2 pi. And then you have to divide by the coefficient in front of the x here, which for us is 4. So our period, or capital T, is 2 pi over 4, which is pi over 2. So that would be answer choice B.